had me attacked, assaulted, harassed, robbed. They all lied, claiming I did things that the video proves I didn't, but they did. Corruption, the allegations of sexual assault against city employees from a man who has clear ties to Mayor Brian Stack. Revealing a deep-rooted system of abuse and retaliation. And for anyone who knows New Jersey politics, that ain't news to you. This is harassment. Anyone wants to arrest me here? I'm harassing the mayor. It says, Leroy Truth is here with questions. And here's Mayor Brian Stack hiding under the desk. It says, stop harassing me. Even for Theodore Roosevelt, back in the day, there would be sketch artists who you know, made fun of him and made political satire. And if this hurts your feelings, Mayor Stack, then you need thicker skin. Like there is, you know, you are a public servant, you are open to criticism, you know, and that's what, that's what Leroy is doing. I've never seen a mayor file a criminal complaint against a citizen for harassment. When I was a victim out here, by one of the lieutenant of Glover Reinhardt, told oh, me that God. he gonna pound me a job to get my kids. He took me all the way to the house to bail and trying to rape me. And I have a right to cry. Because this is a very serious point in meeting. And this needs to draw the attention, not just for else, of me, myself, but for everybody. We got your back, Jim. Yeah, Carl. For storms. Ten your love. I was told that Mayor Stack would be having people like him who are paid to disrupt this and agitators to even attack us later. Last time we saw this many police officers in Union City, they were cuffing him up and dragging him out for disrespecting their Lord and Savior, Brian Stack. If you disagree with him, and you're one of the people shouting at him here today, he's not having you arrested for disrespecting him. He's not having you taken away from your family. He's not covering up any sexual assaults that have been made against you. How I came to be asked to be a special guest at Captain Raposo's training in North Bergen was I was one of three people invited to speak just for a few minutes to give our perspectives. Brian Stott, the mayor, he sexually assaulted me. Right, can you say that again? You're saying Brian Stack did what to you? Yes, he sexually assaulted me in 4016, 45th Street. To get immediate protection for these three women. What is your statement about these three allegations and let, make sure he doesn't stop from answering. You're free. The wall sack, you're all equal here. He's no higher than any of you. But what's your statement on these three women who allegedly were sexually assaulted by Raul Janelle in the Parks Department? What's your statement on that? You need to respond to the people. The people. Because he's paid to do so by the political machine in Hudson County. He's a paid hack. He's a complete idiot. Go right ahead. Make sure you get that on camera. Well, I sure did. In an attempt to amplify their voices, I was shocked that even I hit a wall. Why doesn't Mayor Stack and the others care about this? Is he afraid it will shine a light on situations he is trying to cover up? I am personally a survivor of sexual assault. As a child, I knew what it was like to not have a voice, which is why the stories of these women speak to me. What did I first encourage you to do? To go and... Uh so the cops would make a police report. So I did. Yeah. And then Alicia found out and then she started saying, why did I do that? That I wasn't supposed to. He went on top of me. But the intima? I the... felt his dick. Did he block the door? Did he keep yes. the door shut? Yes. And did he, and again, share whatever you're comfortable with. And in what ways did he touch you? He used to bring up my blouse and uh, started rubbing his dick um, uh, on me. And then it was everything behind. He used to do it. If you have questions or issues. Yes, I'm gonna ask again, once again to the board, will you protect these women and will you stop Alicia Moria Hone, the direct supervisor from retaliating against these women? No, that's, that's not the way this works. No, that's, that's not the way this works. Would you comment on why the women are being protected, Commissioner Martinetti, and you're a woman? Why are they being retaliated against me? I want the police called here right now. I am pressing charges against Justin Mercado. me, Justin Mercado, intimate me in the, in the school in, in 2018. After that, Alicia Morejon attacked me too, intimated me in the school, inside the school, calling power. You attacked me sexually in 2020, 2005, in the 
And do we have any in the order? And Mayor Snack, you're doing the same thing. I know you're getting your marching orders from the Wee Hawkins Mayor, by the way. And Mayor Snack, this question is for you. You need to pay attention to this. This is critical to your office right here. Mayor Snack, I'm over here, buddy. Mayor Snack, I'm right here. Mayor Snack, did you know that there are three women? I'm going to wait till you stop talking and pay attention to we the people right here. Are you ready to hear what I have to say, Mayor Sack? I'm right here. Sir, you can speak. Don't harass me. You can speak. You are being sir, incredibly speak. rude sir. and condescending sir, to you're everyone an here. You're an idiot. Just do me a favor. Step back. This is what he, this is what he stoops back. to right here. Step Don't back. Stop. Did you know that there were three women who were allegedly step sexually back. assaulted step back. in the city? Step back. Don't you raise you know your that. voice. You know, speak. You speak. know that Don't raise your there were three women who were voice. allegedly assaulted in this city. Stop. Works for the Parks Department. Do you know that? Are you aware of that, Mayor Sack? That's a question for you. How about the women on the panel? Do they care? Then I have a very important announcement as well that is relative to Hudson County. This one says, "Don't upset the baby mayor. Baby chief will lie and charge you with harassment." And there's Brian Stack crying, and there's a uh, big boy. Chief Pacini, and some of you might think I'm, I'm being a little bit mean here, but keep in mind everything we do, everything Leroy and I do, is in reaction to their bad behavior. Brian P. Stack, who is conveniently hiding behind these unhallowed walls, who has conveniently cut us off from our original place where we were going to do a press conference on the steps of City Hall. I am Leroy. Truth. I am Leroy, Leroy Truth, Truth for Leroy Truth Investigation because the truth. Matters. Union City, New Jersey, which has Mayor and State Senator Brian Stack, allegedly the most corrupt Mayor and Senator in the United States of America. <laughs> and there, there are some people talking, which I don't, well, I don't care. Well, God bless them. I just, First Amendment, God bless them. I want them to say their peace. Now, first I want to thank all of the people who, after seeing my egregiously unlawful arrest two weeks ago, while I was speaking during my five minutes of allotted time at a city commissioner's meeting in Union City, New Jersey, I was arrested for saying words during my five minutes that Mayor and State Senator Brian Stack did not like. It was caught on camera. I want to thank Sean Long Island Audit for doing an extraordinary job on the video. Got over 500, I don't know, 60,000 views. James Freeman as well, over a quarter million views. And the support of, of each of you. Because we have people from YouTube channels, both large and small, who have come from all over the United States. I know people have driven 30 hours, 25 hours, through storms. God bless you. Send your love. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I was told that Mayor Stack would be having people like him who are paid to disrupt this and agitators to even attack us later. So I'm going to read a few words and then I'm going to ask a number, you know, anyone here who wants to speak as well, whether it's about Union City, Brian Stack, freedom, freedom of the press. To start off, ladies and gentlemen, members of the social media press, the real media, except for the courageous Hudson County View who has shown up today, and Jersey Journal. And John Haynes, I acknowledge and celebrate you guys for showing up. Also, the Hudson County Democratic Organization, Nick Scutari, president of the New Jersey Senate, all the assemblymen and senators of New Jersey, fellow government activists and concerned citizens and Americans. Today marks a historic moment in the annals of YouTube activism. Never before have we witnessed such a convergence of First Amendment activists and anti-corruption warriors from across this great nation. Channels both big and small are re represented behind me and surrounding me. 
They are passionately and powerfully sharing their unique voices with their viewers throughout the world. And it is all because of one single man, a politician whose history of corrupt actions have galvanized us like never before. And his name is Mayor, State Senator of New Jersey, and head of the Judiciary Committee of New Jersey, Brian P. Stack, who is conveniently hiding behind these unhallowed walls, who has conveniently cut us off from our original place where we were going to do a press conference on the steps of City Hall. It is not his City Hall, it is we the people's City Hall, and he conveniently decides to paint it the day we are going to do a press conference on the steps of our building. We are here, standing united, in Union City, New Jersey, driven by a common purpose to demand justice, to seek accountability, and to expose the depths of corruption that have plagued this community for far too long. This unprecedented gathering is a testament to our collective resolve, our shared commitment to truth, and our unwavering determination to see justice served on Mayor and New Jersey State Senator Brian P. Stack. Since December 21st, 2023, on the inspiration of YouTube channel Good Guy Activism, who asked me personally to join him here for a random First Amendment audit. Since then, I have been tirelessly investigating Mayor Brian Stack at the behest, not of myself, but of Union City's residents, city workers, police officers, EMS workers, public works employees, Board of Education members, teachers, building department staff, city clerks, landlords, and business owners. Over 2,300 allegations of corruption have been entrusted to me, revealing a deep-rooted system of abuse and retaliation. And for anyone who knows New Jersey politics, that ain't news to you. How did we come to be here today? Because a city worker in this building called 911 on a man with a camera, asking people questions. I was simply taking a tour. Next, enter Detective George Haber of the Union City Police Department. He came up to the mayor's lobby where I was and he asked what's going on. I told him what was going on. I'm simply a man recording my public building. He said, surprisingly, and you all know, surprisingly, oh, you have a right to do this. Go ahead. He then informed all the other city workers there who were freaking out because I had a camera. You have to spread the word. He has a First Amendment right to do this. I can't keep coming up here. Now you would think that would be the end of it. I was done with Union City. Like, wow, we actually saw a good police officer protecting my rights. That almost never happens. However, a few days later, people in Union City started contacting me, saying that Detective George Haber was retaliated against by Mayor Brian Stack and Chief Ficini for doing the right thing and protecting my rights. He was removed from the records room, banished back to patrol, and given a garbage shift. After that, the floodgates opened. I got dozens, then hundreds, then thousands of allegations against Mayor and Senator Brian Stack. Pay to play, extortion, bribery, sexual assault allegations against him by a pastor. Sexual assault allegations of numerous women in this city who work for the city. Retaliation and cover up, including sexual assault allegations of Lieutenant De Rojas. You want to investigate some, something? Mainstream media investigate Lieutenant Rojas. The list went on and on. But what did Mayor Brian Stack do in response to all of this? Did he invite me into his office and say, hey, let's talk. I'll give you an interview. No. Instead, what he did is he allegedly had me attacked, assaulted, harassed, robbed over 17 times, all caught on camera. Get your hands off me. Okay, no one. Get, it me. get your hands off me. Hey, get off. Get off me. They're all hands on. They're all hands on. Oh! Oh my God!
The only people who have been doing confronting and abusive tactics have been you, Chief Ficini, Justin Mercado, Wendy Grion, City Commissioner, and a host of your volunteers, New Jersey's administration. There was the first one, got right in my face. He's a complete idiot. Go right ahead. Make sure you get that on camera. Oh, I sure did. And other minions that you have apparently mind controlled them to do assaults and harassment against me. Call the chief on his plan. Now, now, idiot, clown, and garbage. So that's what the head of Judiciary Committee says about another American. Hey, Mayor Stack, you know. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You just hit my. You just hit my. Don't touch. You just hit my tripod. Don't touch. You just hit my tripod. That was harassment right there. I, I will be filing charges on you. Okay, are you protecting the women? Hey, hey, hey! Get off me! I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> you knew I was gonna do that when you assault me. Hey, hey, hey! And you're the chief. Tisha, she blatantly walks up to my camera and grabs a hold of a battery pack and rips it, breaks it off of my tripod, and then walks away. This was all done right in front of Chief Ficini, and he did nothing. The fourth attack occurred a few minutes later, once again by Leticia, who kicked me in my legs from behind me. Once again, that happened in front of Chief Ficini, and he did nothing. Once again, that happened in front of Chief Ficini, and he did nothing. Get your hands off me. 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 Hey! Get your hands off me. Get your, get your hands off me. No, he's looking for me. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. Hey, get off. Get off me. This is the commissioner. Look at this. They're all hands on. They're all hands on. And just watches. Mayor Stack also fails to act and just watches. Then after I get pushed to the ground and my tripod is broken, torn apart, Chief Ficini inexplicably leaves the building, has to walk past everything as things are escalating even more, runs away from the scene, runs down the sidewalk to the end of the block, makes a phone call. Then Chief Ficini comes back where the mayor proceeds to scream at him in front of all the people. And he says, if you won't handle him, I'll handle him. I apologize for the residents for Mayor Stack. You should, you should apologize for ignoring us. Because he's paid to do so by the political machine in Hudson County. He's a paid hack. He's a complete idiot. Go right ahead. Make sure you get that on camera. Oh, I sure did. Hey, hey, hey! Keep my hands on. I want the police here. I want him arrested right now. I want him arrested right now. You know what? He just put hands on. He went to country and he took my key. Give me my phone back. Give me my phone back now. He stole my phone. Give me that phone back. I want the police called here right now. 
I am pressing charges against Justin Richardson. Not protecting his women? You're saying that's not city business? It's not city They are being retaliated against by Alicia Morajon, according to them, for five weeks now. Is that not city business? This is not city business. So women who are sexually assaulted, who work for the city, who are allegedly assaulted by people in the city, you are out of line. What's out of line is you're ignoring the fact that these women need to be protected. You, you are out of line. Have you heard about your lawyer? Have you heard that there are three women who went to the police a, who claimed is, they were sexually assaulted by a fellow city worker? And you're saying that's not city business? This is a commission meeting for the, pur for the purpose of conducting city business. This is not... There is nothing more important than protecting what city workers from being sexually assaulted no. by another city worker. Let's continue. Oh. This is my five minutes, Alyssa Donato. This is my five minutes. Do you have control of your meeting? This is my five minutes. Do you have control of this meeting? Had me attacked, assaulted, harassed, robbed over 17 times, all caught on camera. I have eight criminal charges filed against me unlawfully, including by Wendy Groyon, city commissioner, who many people have said she is an EDP, an emotionally disturbed person. They all lied, claiming I did things that the video proves I didn't, but they did. Then I have a very important announcement as well that is relative to Hudson County. Mayor Brian Sack has been claiming vociferously that next door mayor, Nicholas Sacco, and of North Bergen, New Jersey, and also Mayor Steve Fulop of Jersey City, New Jersey, have been behind me financially. He has claimed in many news articles and interviews that they are paying for me to be here and investigate him. They say that they are, Brian says that they are directing my actions, which he claims are harassment. It's actually called journalism. And I am here to unequivocally say about Mayor Nick Sacco, Mayor Steve Fulop, who also is running for governor in 2025, that I am absolutely not connected with either of them in any way, shape, or form. They are not funding me. I have never spoken with them, though I hope I can't speak with both of them after this conference, clearing this up. They have not given me a penny. They have not asked me to do anything. I could only say that Mayor Nick Sacco, who I, of course, know of, has done an extraordinary job as mayor in supporting the First Amendment and the First Amendment training in North Bergen, New Jersey. And under the leadership of the chief and the commissioner and Captain George Raposa as well. So I want to finally put to bed any of those delusions that Mayor Stack has been lying, blatantly lying about. And I also want to read a quote from Mayor Steve Fulop in my concluding remarks. Oh, I also want to say something else about the building department and Alex Velasquez and business owners and landlords. There is a pay to play culture here that hundreds of people have brought to me. If you are a building owner, you are a landlord, if you are a police officer behind us, Mayor Stack has his minions led by Justin Mercado, the secretary of the Board of Education, who, by the way, assaulted and robbed me in front of security cameras and then waved his phone in Mayor Stack's face to say, I got, I got Leroy's phone with all the secret contacts and sources. He tried to punch me. He tried to destroy my phone. All caught on camera. Hudson County prosecutor wouldn't prosecute. They said, there's no crime here. I'm not, I'm not stopping this. And I will never stop until Mayor Stack is completely exposed, he is indicted, he is out of office, and you think Senator Bob Menendez was dirty? Remember, Senator Bob Menendez was Mayor Stack's mentor. Senator Bob Menendez used to be mayor right here in these unhallowed halls. So take Senator Bob Mendendez's corruption, multiply it by a thousand, and you can get an idea of Mayor Stack. And any mainstream media, if you have any integrity, don't believe what I'm saying. Do your own investigation.
believe the videos. People lie. <coughs> videos don't lie. And I also want to acknowledge and celebrate, and this is going to be strange to a lot of the channels here, the police officers here in Union City. This is not a normal experience that I have experienced. I can go anywhere else in the country, and I would not have been supported in my First Amendment activities like I have been here. Eight, 18 times, police here were ordered to arrest me. 17 times, they said no. I'm going to say that again because it's that important. 18 times, police have been told to arrest me for speaking during public meetings, for recording on a public street. And 17 times the police refused to arrest me. Finally, Captain Omar Hernandez, he unlawfully arrested me while I was speaking two weeks ago in Union City at a city commissioner's meeting because I said words, as I said earlier, that Mayor Stack didn't like. The captain first said, he commanded me, you cannot disrespect the commissioners. Of course I can, I told him. First Amendment. He said, well, oh, you need to stand behind the podium. When two men who spoke right before me were in front of the podium. When I was in that podium for one minute and 32 seconds before he somehow had issue with it. He said, if I didn't stand behind the podium, I would be arrested. And he asked me, do I want to be arrested? I said, no. Well, if you don't stand behind the podium, you will be arrested. I, would, I refuse an unlawful order. I'm a free man. I was egregiously, egregiously unlawfully arrested. Watch the video, see for yourself. So with that, I conclude. I again so appreciate everyone who's here. From you know, Long Island Audit, Vinny, Accountability for All, Joe Burns, James Freeman, Audit in Erie County, uh, here's the deal. Scalzo Photo, oh, and I want to do a very special thanks to Scalzo Photo yes. and Full Court and NB, please join their channels. They always have my back. And Scalzo Photo created these incredible meme posters, some from my Facebook page, some from police officers' Facebook pages, and so forth. Scalzo, I love you. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Full Court Press and B, I love you too. Your support is absolutely amazing. Have I forgotten anybody? What's that? Oh, angry vet, man of integrity. Yesterday, he called out someone doing not good things in an audit, and that's a big deal. So, Angry Vet, thank you for being an honorable man. So, in conclusion, I thank you all for being here, and I'd like some others to speak as well, starting with Sean Long Island Audit. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Leroy. We love you, Leroy! 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 Thank you. All right, I'd like to introduce Sean of Long Island Audit, my good friend. I'm glad to be here today to support Leroy and to support his activism here in uh, Union City. You know, Mayor Brian Stack, I've never, you know, I, I went all the way to Illinois. I'm sure you, most of you are familiar with uh, the mayor from Illinois, from Dalton, Mayor Tiffany Henyard, the self-proclaimed super mayor. Um, even she, I spoke at one of her, uh, one of the public meetings in, in the village of Dalton. Uh and I eviscerated her, and not even her or her corrupt police department would arrest someone for freedom of speech. And that's exactly what Mayor Stack here did. Mayor Stack here uh, did here today, did to Leroy. And it's horrible what he's done to him. Uh, the corruption, the allegations of sexual assault against city employees, from a man who has clear ties to Mayor Brian Stack. It's absolutely ridiculous. I really appreciate the good work that Leroy is doing here. He's explained it in full. I can't go into any more detail than he already did. I would definitely subscribe to his channel to make to follow for updates. Um, I'm very happy that I could use my platform to highlight his unlawful arrest. As he said, it's got over 550,000 views. I'm sure that's gotten a lot of phone calls here to Mayor Brian Stack. And uh, hopefully Mayor Brian Stack comes out of his office and stops acting like a coward and, face, and faces we the people and answers some questions here today. You know, because he has a lot to answer for. You know, even the mainstream media is saying that he's mentally ill. You know, that he has, you know, that there's, there's politicians that's saying that he has mental illness. He thinks that Leroy's, I know Leroy, Leroy is a friend of mine. Leroy's not being sent on any political mission. He's not a political operative. He's not. He's doing this because he cares. 
He cares about what's going on here in Union City. He cares about the people and he cares to, expo ex to expose the corruption. So I just want to say, Leroy, keep on with your good work. Thank you for all you do and I'll always be here to support you, my friend. I appreciate you, Sean. Thank no you. No problem. AFA accountability for all. I've been following this story from the beginning, okay? And the most egregious of the situations that Leroy's been in recently is when a member of this community walked into the halls of power and had a different point of view. He was told not to disrespect. He did disrespect in their eyes and he was arrested. This country was birthed on the spirit of resistance, but those in power would seek to change the course of history. Normally when we ask a question, we start with the question and then we get to the answer. So today I'm gonna to start with the answer first. Illegal arrest, assault and battery, sexual harassment cover-ups, a mayor that's making accusations and writing checks with his mouth that his ass can't cash, police officers telling us in City Hall that they will allow us to record, they will allow us to have our First Amendment right. That's the answer. The question is, how much is it going to take? That's compounded by a second question. How much more shit are you willing to take? Because we've got to this precipice right now because we've allowed too much to happen. We've decided that we weren't gonna put our foot down and we've decided that we were gonna let government have the final say. It's very easy to get up here and speak to the instances and the circumstances that we've all heard and seen. It's a much different story when you're willing to stand in the face of that tyranny and take an arrest, get brought into a jail cell. Now I've been constantly hearing about 17 police officers that wouldn't arrest Leroy. Now I applaud them for simply doing their job. But here's the problem that I have. When a cop won't break the law, we praise them as a good cop. They're just doing their job. They're not supposed to violate your rights. My question isn't, why didn't they arrest him those, 17 times, those seven times? Where were they when he was illegally arrested? I believe that you have the right to walk up to any government official that represents you. There is no taxation without representation. You have the right to represent yourself and your will to the government that you've duly elected. And when you walk up to that government and you disrespect their perceived authority, and the end result is a free American is placed in handcuffs, his freedom of movement is arrested, we get back to the same question. What does it take? It takes this. It takes the largest and smallest channels across YouTube to get together, mainstream media to come out, people on both sides of the coin either screaming for him or screaming against him. This is what it takes. It's when the pressure cooker's on and the shit's about to hit the fan that all of a sudden there's an eight minute video that the police need to watch. The police are here to respect our rights. I'd rather keep fighting them than take any gifts from them. We're at a point right now where everyone here has a decision to make. Whether you're for this man or you're against this man. It doesn't really matter if you agree with him or you disagree with him. If you disagree with him and you're one of the people shouting at him here today, he's not having you arrested for disrespecting him. He's not having you taken away from your family. He's not covering up any sexual assaults that have been made against you. The will of the people is clearly and definitely been subverted in Union City. And now that the inmates have taken over the asylum, now look around us. Police officer, police officer, police officer, police officer. Last time we saw this many police officers in Union City, they were cuffing him up and dragging him out for disrespecting their Lord and Savior, Brian Stack of shit. So stand, stand with him, stand behind him, or get out of his way. Because once and for all, accountability is for, it's coming. Be a part of the change. We've changed a lot in 300 years, right? 300 years ago, whatever it takes. They take our guns, we take them back. They take our freedom, we take it back. We're willing to die for our rights. We have nothing to lose. And now people are standing from the windows. There's a Brian Stack picture in that window right there. And now instead of acting like we have nothing to lose, we have everything to lose. So don't let him stand alone. Even if you disagree with him, he's willing to take that ride for you. You should be willing to take that ride for him. Thank you, Josh. Can I say something? Absolutely. Here you go, sir. Um, After him. Want me to go first? 
I just wanted to bring up why I decided to print all these memes and uh, photos out. Before the recent arrest, there were two obviously false charges of harassment. And how do you know they're false? If you ask Brian Stack, how is Leroy Truth harassing you? He refuses to explain it. He doesn't give specifics. He doesn't give, here's how you can avoid harassing me. So, and one of them was a harassment against the pretend police chief, uh, Anthony Pacini, of harassment. So basically what I did is I, I, uh, some, I basically created his uh, cry, cry report, where it's basically all of his instances of uh, emotional damage, his hurt, his uh, injured uh, in, uh, feelings. And uh, I don't know if anyone wants to zoom in on these photos, feel free, I'm just gonna go through them real quick. This one says, don't upset the baby mayor, baby chief will lie and charge you with harassment. And there's Brian Stack crying, and there's uh, big boy Chief Ficini. And some of you might think I'm, I'm being a little bit mean here, but keep in mind, everything we do, everything Leroy and I do, is in reaction to their bad behavior. So I'm just taking their lead. And here's a, a, a meme here, which is, this is harassment. I'm, I'm, anyone wants to arrest me here? I'm harassing the mayor. Uh, it says, Leroy Truth is here with questions. And here's Mayor Brian Stack hiding under the desk. It says, stop harassing me. And this one is um, Officer Omar Hernandez. Uh, it says, uh, and this is the, the Stooge lawyer. Um, it says, Captain is very obedient. And this here says, Captain is such a good boy. And it sounds like I'm using like a derogatory terms against the, the captain, but it's how you interpret it. I think, I, loved, I love dogs. I think they're beautiful animals personally, but it might be considered derogatory. And part of the charges against Leroy is that he posted derogatory memes. So I guess I, I created a derogatory meme. So if anyone wants to charge me with a crime, I guess I'm next. Uh, what else we got? Oh, this is a good one. Did you go into the history of, of political satire? Political satire? Oh, yeah, you want to talk yeah, about it, Bill? Yeah, just, just the history. This is political satire right here, just so everybody knows. You know, now we call them memes, and, you know, we have artificial intelligence, and Scalp was really good with Photoshop and everything. But, you know, even for Theodore Roosevelt back in the day, there would be sketch artists who, you know, made fun of him and made political satire. And if this hurts your feelings, Mayor Stack, then you need thicker skin. Like, there is, you know, you are a public servant. You are open to criticism, you know, and that's what that's what Leroy's doing. I've never seen a mayor file a criminal complaint against a citizen for harassment. I, I don't think I've ever seen that in my auditing career, in my activism. So, you know, he, he definitely needs to end the police chief, right? The police right. chief also right. filed, you know, imagine a police right. chief right. and the mayor filing cyber harassment charges against an activist and journalist. It's, yeah, oath breakers, right. But yeah, I love these signs, Scalzo, it's great. Hopefully, we have officers all around us. I don't see anybody coming to arrest you, so no, I think you should be all right. So in closing, before we leave, feel free to take some photographs and spread them around the internet, and you might get charged with harassment as well, so be careful. Just, <laughs> just but spread them far and wide and be, just be, be ready for the charges. Thank you, Scalzo. And, <laughs> it, and he worked so long on this, incredible. All right, this is the Angry Vet YouTube. Subscribe to his channel, The Angry Vet. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you. Um, I know a lot of you are probably looking forward to The Angry Vet, but uh, I'm going to give you a little perspective from a 30, 40,000 foot view. I didn't know anything about this case, this corruption, until recently. And until recently, I was The Angry Vet. And I was on fire, and I couldn't stand what was happening here. So I came up and I helped Leroy a couple times. Saw firsthand, because a lot of people don't, don't want to put boots to ground and see firsthand what's going on. But I saw firsthand what was going on, and I had to do something. Recently, I've changed my views. I'm not so angry anymore at all the cops. Um, because pretty much the majority of the cops here, a very large majority of the cops in Union City are not bad people. They're doing their job, we hear it all the time, but that's not the case. These cops are good and, and they don't want to do bad things. And uh, I know Mayor Brian Stack, you're going to watch one of these videos and this message is for you. You are the biggest player in this story. Without you, it wouldn't be this big if you had just stood up and done the right thing the first time. I hope you understand this. We collectively 
all these auditors, all these people around us today, we did not come to Union City to provoke the citizens. We did not come to Union City to cause problems. We did not come to Union City to give the cops headaches. That's not why we're here. And if you can't see that now, then you're just fucking blind. And that's all I gotta say about that. Thank you, Angry Ben. I'm News Now Ninja from Houston, Texas, and I've been watching and following this story for months now. And I feel like every time they get exposed for another problem, they double down with causing more problems. And I hope that by seeing what they have caused and how fast it can grow, that they'll change their ways and start doing what the people are asking, uh, bring some peace to the city, and you know, stop allowing the mayor and all, you know, some of these other government officials, stop letting them drag y'all into this, because they're the ones bringing this problem. We're not trying to be the problem. And uh, yeah, that's it. Amen. Now we have, this gentleman came up from Bedford, Pennsylvania. And this is Tri-State Audit. All right. Um, I'm not much on public speaking. This is more directed towards the people of the town. Why would you want Brian Stacks as your mayor? Um, he's not fit to be mayor. Um, you all need to get rid of him. Um, that, that, that's about all I've got to say. If, if, if you have a good reason why you want to keep him as mayor, reach out to us. Let us know why he should be mayor. But as far as we are all concerned, he, he's not good to be a mayor. Thank you, Christ say. And anyone else who hasn't spoke that would like to say something? Vinny. I'm here to support you because you did the right thing by speaking your mind at a public meeting and you had your rights trampled on. You had a right to redress your grievances and you had your civil rights ripped from you for me addressing your grievances with your government. You, sir, are a hero. Anybody that does that is a hero. And I, I think this man needs to be impeached, honestly. I think, I think he needs to be impeached, and I think Leroy should uh, take his job, honestly. But, uh, but <laughs> he, he should definitely run, I'll tell you that. But I'm here to support my friend in his, in his valiant effort to get rid of a corrupted mayor. Thank you, Leroy. Thank you, Vinny. I'm Telly Flores. Everybody knows me. The police department completely knows me. The town knows me, everybody. You know why? Because I'm survivor, sorry. I'm survivor of the corruption in this city. I don't need microphone because my voice, I need to, everybody knows my voice because everybody knows in this country, in this, in this city, in this town. Brian Stott, the mayor, Number one, the, my, my situation with him and, and bringing everything is because he assaulted me, he sexually assaulted me. Wait, wait, can you say that again? You say Brian Stack did what to you? Yes, he sexually assaulted me in 4016, 45th Street in Union City in a place that I, I used for beginning a, a, a local for meeting, for family meeting as an, an, a pastor. After that, I studied social communication. You see me, this? I'm prepared. Now I speak a little bit more English. I'm a Spanish people. I suffered here all my life since I stay here in the United States, more than 25 years here. Please, everybody journalists. I, I, I don't know if I speak today, but I take an advantage to say my truth, I don't care about if somebody tried to make something. I support everything. Number two, Justin Mercado, Alicia Morejon, the, the lady, woman, the woman wife of Brian Stack assault me. They attack me. My complaint is in Hudson County Court, in the Superior Court of Hudson County. I, I speak in Spanish, lady. My case is huge. But he hide in my case. He pay under the table for the lawyers, for judge. And my case is in the stop. You can see in Hudson County Superior Court. 
and survivor shield. After that, she fired from my work in the Union City Board of Education. And the lady who he assaulted me, sexually assaulted me. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. We're here for you. We're here for you, yeah. We're here for you I'm, I'm shaking my body. So sorry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. You know why? Because I support. I support everything about Brian Stack made me. Not just me, my family, my children. I have two children. I suffer a lot. I don't have money. I don't have nothing. He affected to me because I make my career is almost bachelor degree. He stopped my bachelor degree in the university, Feli Dickerson too. I can't graduate because he stopped. He broke all my life because he knows the day when he had saw me in November 2006. Oh my God. Sorry, sorry. Uh, no need sorry. To be sorry. I, I never know if I if I stay. So I pass here and I see the journalist and I say I had to prepare with my with my camera and everything. Because he's stopping my career, he's stopping my my leadership in this city too. He he escaped, he escaped from me when he watched me, he escaped. I need to see him in front of the court. I need to see him in front of me to say the truth about why he assaulted me, sexually assaulted me in 2006. After Justin Mercado, Alicia Morejón, Mercedes Joaquin, and two later more assaulted me, attacked me, and survivor of the corruption of the mayor and senator Brian Stack. My name is Deli Flores. I had to say a lot of things. But I don't have war. He fired from my war and the Union City Board of Education after 18 years. After 18 years, he fired me. My work was in Colin Powell. But now I don't have work. But I'm a survivor. Thanks, guy. He went to see me as a homeless in the street. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for everybody. And really, I don't know if I speak now, but I say my truth. My number, my number is 2017245788. Delhi Flores. Thank you so much. All right, we have one one last speaker today. And that's explosive. What she said about. Mayor Stack. She put her life on the line. Just now. She alleges that Mayor Stack sexually assaulted her. Where's mainstream media investigating this? So, final speaker today, and then I'll wrap up with a couple words. Charles Pratt. Yeah, Charles Pratt, everybody. How y'all doing? Love it. Thank you. Show more time to the How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I bring y'all the case today. I'm not going deep. I'm not going deep. I'm going to go and, and document patience. Look at it. This is a serious matter out here, all right? And it's been so serious. It goes all the way back from 2003, when I was a victim out here. By one of the lieutenant of Glover Reinhardt told me that he's going to pump me a job to get my kids. He took me all the way to the bay only trying to break me. That's a good idea. And I'm trying to kill everybody out here, and they got no justice. And the only justice I got is they try to hurt me more. They came to my house, come and, and look, try to come in my house like they have warrants and try to kill me with 25 automatic gun that they got off the property room. I took this information also to the FBI and they told me, oh, but we viewed the, we viewed the tape from 200, um, 40 people and they came in your house and we didn't find them, but we destroyed your tape. And I asked her, how could you destroy something that I submitted to you as evidence? I said, you might have destroyed the tape, but I took step by step image of every photo that was on that video. You know what I'm saying? And they try to play me stupid so many, so many years. And my life has still been attacked. They had the blood authority broke two distance in the back of my neck, right? And then I hired a lawyer, and the lawyer still trying to sue them for $10 million. I never asked for no money from no police department because they, they helped me since I've been out here. I can say that for a lot of them. They did help me a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? But some of them, they just went off course, I'm going to say. They went off course, and it's just not right. I was laying down by cars out here in Union City. The next day, they try to meet me in the hospital like if I was a mental patient. Crazy. How could somebody get run down by a car on the 20th in 2003, but then the next day they try to put them in a mental ward like they're crazy? Also, I went um, in Bayonne. 
I moved up to Bayonne, right? Then they turned around and 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 and, and made a tax on my life here. This, all because of, they took my money from me and refused to give my money back. So they some people there to do demolition work, and then they some the dog cast iron stove out the window and try to kill me. And I had to leave the state of Arthur County here. I was there for 25 years. I had to leave the state for my life, my safety. And it's not right. It's not right. Now I'm homeless. I'm homeless for what they did to me. And I'm in a lot of pain. And I have a right to cry. But I'm not crazy. I'm proud I'm because what I feel of all the food they did to me. And right now, I got one pending case at least. I got a pending case right now for the um, arms management of what they did to me in Bayonne. They attacked me, beat me down. I had to go out the state just to get um, results of what they did to my ribs. They threw my ribs and everything. And I'm tired of this. I can't take no more pay for the Port Authority. They tapped me on the train, on the Port Authority, the path train, everything. They tapped me and said, I didn't pay my train. They lied. I didn't want to make this short because I don't want to destroy this meeting here. Because this is a very serious point in meeting. And this needs to draw the attention, not just for else, or me, myself, but for everybody. We got your back, Jim. Yeah, Charles. This is what we call for you and your city. If you're going to stand up and fix it up, fix the sidewalk, fix the streets, and fix houses, what about the people's safety? Amen. Amen, brother. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. Alicia, the same woman, Delia mentioned Alicia Morahone and Justin Mercado, same. They're still in the Now, a couple things, and this, we're going to wrap it up now. There is a seal, an embossed seal, on the sidewalk there, 1925. It says, understanding with compassion. That's the seal of Union City. How do you know if any mayor, Mayor Sack or any mayor, is living up to that seal, which is right over here? Is Mayor Stack leading with understanding with compassion or leading with retaliation with fear? And that's what everyone tells me. So I thank everyone who's come here today. I yeah, appreciate you, John Highness, very much. Hudson County View. Journal News, Ron, Mark here, and everyone here who's joined, I so appreciate everyone. Get the word out. We're just beginning, and we are peaceful. If anything is violent, it is coming from Stack and his volunteers. As I've been the only one who's been attacked, yet I have eight criminal, yeah, yet I have eight criminal charges against me. An innocent man, an independent American journalist with eight criminal charges for investigating a corrupt mayor. So God bless you all. Thank you God all. God bless you and thank you, Ebron. And onward, upward. We're not going to stop until Mayor Stack is exposed, indicted, and doing some fun time with Senator Bob Menendez, possibly making pottery in Sing Sing. Amen. God bless you all. That's Amen. right. We love you, Leroy. Amen. We love you, Leroy. Um, your friend over here, and I know this is something that has been floated before about you potentially running for mayor in 26. Is this something you're giving serious thought to? I am. I'm giving serious thought to it. I didn't before. Because some people have said, oh, we heard Leroy may, may be running for mayor. This has been all political. It is an absolute lie. I have not considered running for mayor until after I was egregiously arrested. Because if an innocent man for speaking get, get arrested, out of these 2,300 allegations of corruption, what else is this guy capable of? So, let me add to They have canceled the meeting for tonight. The meeting tonight is canceled. They don't want that's, to have... That's the a commissioner's meeting. The commissioner's meeting is canceled. Yes. What, what a coward. Uh-huh. Yeah. And did. you wanted to speak. Everyone here wanted to speak at that meeting. Yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah. We're here because they scheduled... No, they didn't cancel the night out. They canceled the public speaking and interaction part of the night out because they weren't going to get the public reaction. Right. At the Robert Waters School, it was scheduled at 7 p.m. tonight. Oh, yeah. I checked. It, and breaking canceled. the law, I think Mayor Stack most likely did not give the proper 48-hour notice. Well, it's definitely canceled. We went in there in the yeah, park's office more, and uh, so, here now, it is, folks. The canceled. county council, Donato Batista, as you know, we spoke about this briefly. He, uh, I guess you could say, is making some hay about you appearing at this municipal clerks association meeting in North Bergen. And, you know, the Craig guy, Brian Stack, he's like, well, there you go. Like, he's there in North Bergen. Obviously, he's with these guys. So would you care to elaborate on what happened there? Absolutely. How I came to be asked to be a special guest at Captain Raposo's training in North Bergen was I was one of three people invited to speak just for a few minutes to give our perspective since he's doing a First Amendment training and since we're First Amendment activists. So I was asked to speak, Sean of Long Island Auto was asked to speak, and Full Court Press NB were asked to speak, all three. They were not available. I was. 
I spoke for a few minutes. It was not my training. I didn't give it. I was a guest. He very graciously asked me to share some of my perspective to give three-dimensionality to his training, which, by the way, was an extraordinary training. I could have, if that was me creating the training, it would have been Captain Raposa's training. It was that good. And so there was no connection with Mayor Sacco. And, and also, I had been given permission previously to formally interview Captain Raposo by Mayor Sacco and Pasquale, and is it Chief Pasquale? Or Commissioner Pasquale and Chief Farley. And so I did a formal interview in North Bergen that, that Raposo was given approval to do. And Sean of Long Island Audit was there and I was, and we did it in North Bergen Conference Room. So they, they know me, they know that I support Captain Raposo, but it had absolutely nothing to do with any connection with with Stack, I mean with Sacco or anything. All right, thank you. Thank you. So if you're going to be, if you're, gonna, if you're considering a run for mayor, that means you would plan to move to Union City. Yeah, I would. I would. I would get residency in Union City. I see. And for a lot of the uh, First Amendment actors that are here, did they did they come over here uh, out of their out of their own schedule, or did you invite them over? No, most of them coming out of their own schedule. They saw my unlawful arrest. And they said, hey, we want to support you. We're, we'll, we'll come to Union City. I said, what, what better night than police night out, than, than, than national night out? Your curiosity. I see. Does this mean that other First Amendment activists like the others that came here, do you think they'll, they'll also be doing work in Union City soon? Oh, yeah. In other words, they are now all focused on Mayor Stack, not just me. He has now awakened the entire nation of First Amendment, active, audit, First Amendment activists, auditors, YouTube channel, activists to now investigate Mayor Stack, to expose Mayor and Senator Stack. So what's next for New Yao? You know, just sort of in the now immediate future, like after this uh, oh, well, Tonight, this you know, as long as the community event happens tonight, the which we are- National Night Out. National Night Out, we're hoping it happens and we're gonna be there peacefully. I want to eat lots of free hot dogs from Brian Stack. I want to, I want to talk to residents. I want cotton candy. I want water, because it's hot. And we're just gonna have a good time. And then, you know, we'll see what happens beyond that. I think that's all. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. My name is Anthony Pierre. I am Leroy. I am Leroy Truth for Leroy Truth Investigation because the truth matters.